Hi, my name is Ailish Monahan, and I am a graduate student at Cornell University, where I study archaeology, and this is my first ever video blog. So uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is the problems I see with how archaeology is being portrayed in the media recently. By this, I don't mean Indiana Jones or Lara Croft. Actually, I'm a huge fan of both of those characters. I think I own every single one of the Tomb Raider video games and the movies. Probably kind of want to be Lara Croft a little bit, especially if I could get that fabulous house for that wardrobe. Um, and Indiana Jones, I mean, come on, what is there not to love? I think my entire generation of archaeologists grew up watching Indy. But that's the thing, is, is that they're fiction, and I think most people realize that it's, it's fiction. So it's a great story, and that's wonderful, and that's all it is. What I'm worried about are these documentaries that we're seeing on um, mainstream television networks, things like uh, the Discovery Channel or the History Channel, which are showing these television programs, the naked archaeologist, digging for the truth. To begin with, they aren't even portraying archaeology. What they're portraying is the worst kind of pseudoscience with a lot of religious mumbo jumbo. It's, it's pretty crazy. One of the things that I think we need to start doing is demanding that the people writing these shows and hosting these shows are qualified to be talking about their subject matter. Um, well, let's start with the, uh, the major culprits. Um, digging for the truth. For the first three years, this show was hosted by Josh Bernstein. To be honest, I feel a little guilty picking on this guy. He's actually a Cornell graduate. He has a bachelor's degree in anthropology and psychology, after which he went to Israel for a year to study Jewish mysticism, came back to the States, did the stuff he loved, and founded a company called the Boulder Outdoor Survival School. How does this qualify him to tell the public about archaeology? He doesn't know much more than anybody else who's picked up a few books. So this is a problem. But then he leaves, and who do they hire to replace him? They hire a guy, Hunter Ellis, Another great guy, I'm sure, got a degree in political science, joined the U.S. Navy, became a pilot, and then started off uh, hosting, well actually, originally he was on Survivor, and then he started off hosting shows on military gadgets. Great, totally qualified for that. But then he ends up hosting Digging for the Truth, and I'm like, what is this? The Naked Archaeologist. This show is a problem. I really really hope you guys don't watch it because this guy is a grade A hack. His uh, qualifications for telling you guys about biblical mysteries appears to be that he's an Orthodox Jew, which, I mean, I'm Roman Catholic. Does that mean I can talk to you about the Vatican? I don't know anything about the Vatican. I just, it doesn't make any sense. The worst part is that he portrays these mysteries as though they are archaeological fact, and he actually misrepresents experts. He'll interview them and then he will edit their interviews to make them look like they are saying things that they aren't. And it's just, it's despicable, it's misleading, and I think that the public needs to begin demanding more. Archaeology is really cool. I've been to amazing places, I've worked with wonderful people, I have found really neat stuff. I've never had to resort to aliens or Atlantis or the tomb of Jesus or neither of any of my colleagues. So what I'm hoping to do is to make some of these videos and talk to you guys about what archaeologists actually do. Um, sometimes I'll talk about what I'm working on, sometimes I'll talk about what other scholars are working on, and sometimes I will talk about these hacks and I will show you what they're doing, why it's not right, and I'll give you guys the resources and the references so that you can look into it yourself and see that 
credentials do matter and we should demand more. Thanks.